the clowns were really scary and they were really big. So it wasn't that hard when they were there to be afraid of them with those teeth and it was scary. Well, my agent at the time had read it and said, this is one of the funniest most creative horror films I have ever read. You have to read it. She said, this is going to be, it's going to be a classic. It's going to have its own place in horror films and it's, it's going to be huge. That's what she said to me. So I read it and um, I went in and I auditioned for it. And she also spoke about the Kyoto Brothers. I have to say, she said, if the Kyoto Brothers weren't involved, I don't know, maybe you think about not auditioning or not going in. Um, but she said the Kyoto Brothers are so creative and they're so talented. She said, I think that this film could be a lot of fun to shoot and really excellent. So I went in and I met with them and I really liked them a lot. Um, Steve was a great director. They were so creative. And um, then I started auditioning for it and we got started pairing up with different people, you know, they just tried to find the chemistry so you'd read with a lot of different actors and the actors would read with a lot of different actresses and I was fortunate enough to get it, yeah. So I enjoyed it, I thought it was a really funny script. Something's wrong, this, this doesn't feel right. Weren't, weren't we looking for the shooting star? Come on, this looks neat, let's check this out. No, let's go, I've seen enough. I always thought of Debbie as, um, you know, she was a, the female lead, but she also, for me, was the most intelligent character in the movie. Sorry, John. Sorry, Grant. But, you know, uh, she just, if you look at the way she handled um, the situations, it was really intelligent how she, you know, the clowns come out of the mirror and she thinks of the hairspray and she gets them with the hairspray and then shoves them back in the mirror or the clown comes out of the toilet, you know, and she looks around and she looks for the shower head and she shoves the shower head into the clown's mouth. So I think she, I just always thought of her as being really smart, thinking on her feet. Um, she's also, you know, the character that's terrified of clowns. Nobody stores cotton candy like this. What are you talking about? Of course it is. <laughs> Look. Ah! What the Kyoto brothers did was they showed us all of the different clowns. They showed us what was going to happen. They kind of showed us how the clowns worked and what they'd be doing. So that made it a lot easier than if they just expected us to imagine what was happening, if that makes sense. Um, but I would say that's probably the hardest thing. One of the hardest uh, parts for me was uh, being in the balloon. Just trying to, like, what is that like to be in the balloon? <laughs> you know, and what does it feel like? And, you know, so things like that, imagining these really unusual situations that you're put in. <laughs> Grant and John were very nice people. They were really fun to work with. They collaborated well. Uh, they, um, they helped me a lot with some of the physical things that we had to do because some of them, some of these things were difficult. I mean, I was little and we had to step up onto giant boxes or going through different things. So they were really helpful and kind and talented and funny, we had a lot of fun together, good friends. Okay, we were, we were up at the top of the world and, and we saw this shooting star and we decided to go look for it. But instead of finding the shooting star... He was probably the most seasoned actor in the whole film. He brought, you know, some of his own lines that he thought were funny. He was really creative. Killer clowns from outer space. Holy shit. 
Whenever he was on the set, I wanted to be there and I wanted to watch him, watch him create the environment, watch as an actor now I'm talking, watch him, you know, talk about what it would feel like to be, uh, you know, uh, the ventriloquist dummy. Uh, it was just, it was fascinating to watch him work and um, how he kind of took control of the scene and how much he gave to everyone. Debbie, Debbie, it's Mike, open up. Mike? Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. So we shot the whole film in Santa Cruz and the Santa Cruz boardwalk and all of the rides and everything, it was shut down at that point because they were redoing it and fixing it up. So um, that was pretty cool. It was so beautiful everywhere we worked and um, once again I think you know the Kyoto brothers, they make you feel like you're a part of a family, they make you feel like you're a part of um, creating something that's so fun. and really interesting. I think working in the bathroom was probably a more difficult scene because it was smaller and there was all these different components to deal with. And I think the other uh, set that was just really uh, intense was at the end with all of the clowns coming at us as we're climbing up onto what kind of looks like a, a giant clown wedding cake or something like that. Um, but running through the balloon room was really hard and I remember it well because I kept falling and like disappearing. They're like, where's Suzanne? I'm like, I'm down here under the balloons and the smoke. So we had to keep shooting it because I kept on literally, you know, <laughs> disappearing in the, in the balloons. <laughs> Well, when I saw it, um, you know, I think what they had accomplished was so magical. I mean, we had so little money. What they were able to create out of so little, making it look like it was a much more expensive film than it really was, um, I think that blew me away, what they were able to create in their production design and special effects that they did. Um, so I was really proud of it, and I was really proud to, um, you know, work with the Kyoto Brothers and work with Grant and John and John Vernon, of course, and, and everyone. And um, I mean, I, I just thought it was a really cool, unique film. It was just a really great experience and a great work environment and so I have really fond memories of working with everyone and working in such a beautiful location. Santa Cruz it was just so beautiful and the people there were so nice and everyone on the set and the creativity. So all of that was, I, I hold dear in my heart and was, I have really fond memories and happy memories of that time. and. Um, you know, you never really know what a film's going to mean to you until you get further and further away from it. I don't really watch myself in films. Um, it's, it's a great memory and it's, it's um, actually now, in the last few years, been something that um, I've got to meet a lot of people that actually really love the film. And so that's been a wonderful gift that I had no idea would um, come or, or happen from this film, so um, it, 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 was a, it was a great experience and continues to be a great experience. <laughs> <laughs>